Have you ever wondered what would happen if COD went to space? And, and no, I'm not talking about the jetpacks and air dashing from that cringe Kevin Spacey edition or that other super underrated sci-fi one no one has ever played but should. I'm talking about that one mission from the campaign no one played and dogpiled as the supposed worst COD ever for some reason. L listen, Ghost didn't offer much, but this mission, as well as the opening sequence, was super creative at the time. I I, I, I always thought it was hilarious how your pretty normal-looking spacesuit could eat a bunch of bullets, and then you could just, you know, do the hide-behind-cover thing and regen your health. I mean... That's unrealistic in any COD scenario, but it seemed even more absurd in a spacesuit. So, there's now a multiplayer game in the works that brings this very scenario to life. Boundary is a game that's been in development for a bit now, and, and by a bit I mean the earliest promo material for this is like from 2016. I'm not going to comment on that really because, well, it's an indie studio and every time I talk about indie games, there's always the actually guy in the comments and when it comes to like development time and other specifics. As a concept, I absolutely adore this game. I, I, I've been a space nerd my entire life and even if I was never smart enough to be an astrophysicist or whatever, what, do you own space? No, NASA does. NASA? Rocket people, perhaps you've heard of them? I, I, I still fire up those live streams to watch rockets do their things, and you know, and I even got to see a shuttle launch as a kid. That was pretty dope. Anyways, the idea of a near future and near space combat has always been such a cool, like, science fiction trope to me. Like, it, and while shows like The Expanse do it really well, and it was always like a reoccurring theme in those Gundam anime shows I watched as a kid. I always wondered the what ifs, like what if the dudes on the ISS just start shooting each other? Y you know those Russians probably have an AK stuffed away on the Soyuz somewhere, just, just in case shit hits the fan up there. What you got in there? In here? Doom. Now, Boundary doesn't have a lot of lore going for it here, which is, well, it, it's fine. It, it's a multiplayer game. The story exposition in your average multiplayer game is kind of just there, and no one really pays attention to it anyways. From what I can tell, you're operating as some sort of space PMCs, and, and space piracy seems to be a loose theme here. Good thing the US officially made the Space Force a branch of the military because I mean the idea really isn't that far-fetched when you think about it. Never mind all the intricacies of shooting each other in the vacuum of space even though I think a lot of it is kind of taken into consideration here but but really now I, I mean you think space junk is a problem now just wait till there's thousands of rounds of 556 and 762 just flying around up there it'd be like speed running the Kessler syndrome. True to concept, all the sounds are muted and ambient sounds are non-existent. This has a really unique effect on the gameplay. It, it took a while for me to adjust to the fact that most of what you're hearing in this game is literally just you and the, and the sounds of your spacesuit doing its thing. Like, I often thought the sounds of thrusters was someone else when it was just my suit making the noises. For example, going to the left, you'll hear a thruster on your right. Going up, you'll hear a thruster from below. Going to the right, you'll hear a thruster from your left, etc. Plus, all you hear from the gun is the muted mechanics of the gun itself doing its thing, cycling around. There's, there's no gunshots because, well, it doesn't take rocket appliances to realize there's, there's no sound in space. There's a lot of cool attention to detail here. Like your left hand is the one in charge of maneuvering your suit. However, when you take your hand off the controls to reload, your movement is briefly nerfed. The game modes are your standard FPS flare. You've got Team Deathmatch with an instant respawn, you've got a no respawn round based mode, and you've got variations on domination where you're, you're fighting over objectives. Standard stuff. However, combine this with 6 degrees of movement and you've got an experience wholly different than your standard lane based gameplay. It takes a bit to get used to and I think the maps are structured well enough to still funnel gunfights, but you could really catch people off guard if you decide to flip the script sometimes. I have some issues here with some things like, well, the minimap is essentially useless to me uh, and the HUD does give you some indication of where you're being attacked from, but fuck if I could figure that out in the moment. The time to kill is also very, very random it seems. Sometimes I'll get the drop on someone and, and they're toast. 
others I have to mag dump them and they, they don't seem to be affected at all. I realize this is probably a netcode issue and one of the things I noticed is that I would often be playing against people who are probably straight up not even on the same continent as me. Which brings up one of the major and unfortunate pitfalls of a game like this. I had a blast hopping into some quick games during the uh, Steam Next Fest demo of the game. However, a multiplayer only game is always going to depend solely on its player base. It, it, if there's no player base, the game is dead. End of story. It, the only advice I can really offer for this problem is making dedicated servers a thing. Uh, you know, skip the matchmaking concept that dominates AAA games and, and just give us the ability to host servers or our own custom games. While of course also offering some official servers. And y you know what? I, I think the game might find a niche. Niche games will always find their niche audiences if you give them the proper tools. However, if it comes to the point that you have to just hit matchmaking and, and you know, hope for the best, I, I just don't know if this game would have a future. That said, there is massive potential with Boundary. I totally adore the concept as a whole and really appreciate the work that the dev team has already put in here. Thanks for watching.